Thousands of Hong Kong residents have gathered for a pro-democracy protest on the 18th anniversary of Britain's handover of the territory to China. The South China Morning Post reported Wednesday that many held yellow umbrellas the symbol of last year's 11-week protest as they converged in Central Causeway Bay at 3 p.m. 8 o'clock GMT, for the start of a march to government headquarters. Lao Yinchu, a 32-year-old musician at the Victoria Park venue, told the Post, I am here to protest against police's abuse of protesters, and certainly also to fight for universal suffrage. The 2014 protests, which involved more than 100,000 people at their peak as people were angered by what was widely seen as excessive use of by police, were sparked by opposition to a Beijing-backed election reform package. The proposals were voted down in Hong Kong's legislature last month, but if passed, would have allowed a body loyal to Beijing to dictate which candidates stood for chief executive the territory's most powerful position in 2017 elections. Referring to the Basic Law, which went into effect as Hong Kong's constitution following the July 1, 1997 handover, Lau said Wednesday that the document must be amended. It only states that universal suffrage would come in a gradual and orderly manner, but doesn't really define what universal suffrage is, he said. I think it should specify that the nomination committee be popularly elected by the people. Jimmy Lai Chi Ying, a pro-democracy media tycoon, stressed that people should not hesitate to join the protest because the reform package had been blocked. Some people said they would join the march when there is new development, said the next media founder, whose office and home were attacked by petrol bombs in January. But actually it is our continuous effort that would prompt new development. We should never give up. The deputy convener of the Civil Human Rights Front that organized the march insisted the turnout was not all that mattered, underlining that there were more booths put up along the path by different political groups than in recent years. The protesters' interactions with these groups along the march would help civil society find its way forward, Johnson Yung Ching Yin told the Post. Other Hong Kongers, however, expressed reservations about the pro democracy movement. Lauren Lau, a 50 year old administration officer, called it too extreme, saying the protesters were spoiled children capable of criticism but not problem solving. Democracy doesn't mean you want your way only she said. Michael Lee, a 45-year-old restaurant manager, told the Post of his wish for a more peaceful Hong Kong rather than the sense of insecurity he associated with the movement. The city is not as safe as it was before. I don't like violence. I don't want to send my son to local universities, he said some professors are talking about politics but not teaching knowledge and skills. The handover anniversary was also marked by Beijing loyalists who attended events including an afternoon parade of classic, vintage, and military vehicles in the Mongkok district with similar low turnout. Chief Executive Lung Chunying had earlier officiated at a flag-raising celebration at the Cultural Center in Tsim Sha Sui attended by a crowd waving small Chinese and Hong Kong flags. Hong Kong returned to Chinese rule in 1997 under a one country, two systems formula that promised a high degree of autonomy from Beijing, including universal suffrage. Last year's protests were seen as one of the most serious challenges to China's authority since the 1989 Tiananmen Square protests that ended with a bloody crackdown in Beijing.